hello everyone welcome back and thank you for watching in today's video i will be using these hobby lobby 14 inch wood circles six come in the pack for 12.99 but they usually have them on sale for 40 percent off so they come out to 7.79 which is not bad starting with my favorite project i will be using one of these wooden round circles now these aren't so thin but they're not so thick um they're a little bit thicker than the one dollar tree carries so i am going to start by painting half of this using some white chalk paint for the other side i will be using this dollar tree leather now i've seen this in black brown and white but i'm using the black for this now i'm going to just trace half of that circle cut it and then i'm going to glue it using some hot glue To decorate this some more and it doesn't look so plain, I will be adding these Dollar Tree thumbtacks. Now the little needle part it is way too long so I'm going to cut like more than half of it and then I will be putting it all around the leather. Leaving a small space in between each thumbtack. And look how beautiful this looks with the thumbtacks. I think it made it look so much better. I will be adding this plus word that I already had. I did use my Cricut for this and I'm going to add it to the leather. Now to hang this, I will be making two holes using my drill and then I'm going to use some jute twine and we'll be cutting three pieces to make like a little braid. I wanted to use the Dollar Tree nautical rope, but I didn't have the thinner one. There is two different ones. There's like a thicker and a thinner one, but I didn't have the thin one. So I decided to use to make to do this instead. Sorry. Now I'm going to add the little braid and I will be adding some knots in each end. And that is it. Now the last thing I will be doing is just adding some greenery. I will be using this Walmart boxwood greenery. But the best part about this is that you can use this all year round by just switching the greenery. For my next project, I will be using another of these wood circles and I'm going to paint the middle white. Once this is dry, I will be using the painter's tape to paint the other two sides using the dark gray I have been using, which I will have all the paints I used to make this color down in the description box. I did one side at a time so I didn't waste the tape. I 
as you can see one of the brown parts bigger than the other i honestly didn't even pay attention as you guys know i am currently sick so i did try my best but anyways i then used my cricut to cut out the word hello now i added this heart but i didn't like how that looked so i ended up just removing the heart and i used the heart and another diy so I'm going to just transfer the hello in the center of my sign. For this hanging door, I will be making a different hanger, so I'm using my drill to make a hole. Then I'm going to use a piece of juice string to add some of these Dollar Tree beads. For the greenery, I will be using some of this lamb's ears or ears lambs. I don't know, but I got these from Walmart. Now, I'm not going to glue these. I'm going to use my Electra stapler instead so I can staple these. Using the Dollar Tree burlap ribbon, I will be making a double bow without the tail. I'm going to glue the bow in the center and this is going to hide all the staples and that is it for this beautiful hello hanging decor sign. For my next project, I'm going to paint the entire circle using some white chalk paint. I will be using some of this leather to make two little handles, but first I'm going to cut a stripe and then cut that in half. This is going to be the little handles for my decorative tray. Now I'm using hot glue to glue this, but I do recommend you using a heavier duty glue. To decorate this some more, I will be adding a thumbtacks on each side and then I will be using this Dollar Tree home sign which I'm going to paint and then I will be adding it to the tray. And that is it for this beautiful decorative tray.
for this wood circle instead of painting that entire thing i'm going to use this mirror and trace it and then just paint the outside part I will be using this Dollar Tree mirror and I'm going to glue it in the center. Now I only use hot glue since this is not heavy. And to finish decorating this some more, I will be using some of these Dollar Tree wood beads that I'm going to glue all around the mirror. As you can see, one of these wasn't enough so I did have to use one and a half. These were like tied where at the end so I did have to untie them and then on the leftover string I added some of the beads from the other um, the other the other one but anyways once I was done I just glued it all around it and that is it for this wall mirror decor. For my next project, I'm going to cut the wood circle in half. Now, once again, I did not cut this very straight and one side was bigger than the other, but I'm still going to use it. Now, I'm going to paint this and I'm using the Dollar Tree Painter's Tape to add some two stripes, one on each side. Um, Slanted, no, slanted, no. How do you say that word? Oh, uh, but like this. I forgot that word. And then both uh, ends, I will be painting them using the gray color. And the center, I will be painting it white. Now, did this bleed through? So instead of like trying to fix that, so after I removed the tape, um, the paint actually bled through. So to cover that up, I will be using two pieces of the leather. I will be adding the heart I didn't use earlier on the side. And look how pretty this made it look. Now using this Dollar Tree McCrane string, I am going to just cut it using this canvas to make so many, to make it easier actually. Now I'm going to flip the sign and glue them in the back using some hot glue. And this is how it looks. Now I'm going to use this comb or brush comb I think it's a comb <laughs> to kind of like thread some of the bottom I only did probably like two inches and a half and that is it for this McCrane wall hanging decor which I think it turned out beautiful And that is it guys i hope you guys have enjoyed today's video let me know down in the comment section which one was your favorite because i would love to know so thank you so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it really helps my channel and until next time bye